Carter, Powell, Ashmead, Bolt. What can the Americans or anyone else do to stop them? Is it destined to be Jamaica's night once again? That is an awesome, awesome lineup. This is the arena, the arena where history is made. Great start there from Nesta Carter. What will Asafa Powell do on the second leg? Gatlin's got a lead. Asafa Powell needs to close this down. The Americans are ahead towards the halfway stage. Clean changeovers for both. This is going to be tight. The Americans are up front. Usain Bolt needs to produce the magic. USA, Usain Bolt. Oh, and there's a baton nightmare there for the Americans. Come at the hour, come at the man. Bolt for Jamaica, USA the silver. And amazingly, amazingly, the Chinese have taken the bronze medal. It all went wrong for the Americans on the last changeover. It was fantastic down the back straight. Justin Gatlin pulled away from a Sapper Powell, but on the anchor leg, Mike Rogers had a nightmare. Jamaica, 37.36, the United States, 37.77, and China, as I thought, came home for the bronze medal. Look at Justin Gatlin. It was a high hand and a good take by Tyson Gay. Asafa Powell had run a good run down the back straight, to be fair, for Jamaica. But look at Tyson Gay on the left shouting, hand, hand, put your arm up. Now, breaking news here. We are just hearing that the American quartet may well have been disqualified. That puts China up to second. Canada get the bronze. And you would think it must have something to do with Mike Rogers being out of the changeover position on that anchor leg. Another brilliant title for the Jamaicans. What a reception this will be for a British quartet who could, could do something very special tonight. Uja, Jamili, Talbot, Mitchell Blake, a great quartet. Rarely has there been a greater sense of anticipation ahead of any race in history. Great Britain going well in seven. Let's watch the changeovers. Britain now up on the outside past the Chinese. Gatlin running well. And the Jamaicans coming through now. It's a brilliant bend by Great Britain. The Jamaicans have some work to do. So do the Americans. Britain, Jamaica and the United States. And look at this from Mitchell Blake. It's Great Britain. Great Britain, yes! I can't believe it. Great Britain have taken the gold medal. Well, let's look at the replay. Uja. Absolutely flew in lane number seven. Omar McLeod ran a tasty first leg as well. America were in it at this point. A beautiful changeover. Adam Jamili, fueled by not being in the individual event here in London, ran the back straight of his life. Gatlin was flying as well. Let's look at the changeover again of the British team. Brilliant. Absolutely outstanding. There is no better runner in the world at the moment for me. He'd be in my top three. Danny Tolbert runs a bend like nobody else. When he ran in that semi-final around 20.16 seconds, he flew round. And look at that, a little bit of an adjustment by the American squad on their final changeover. And in the centre of the picture, Usain Bolt was about to unleash the second gear. The desperately sad injury for the best man, the fastest we've ever had. But look at that. Under pressure, not a chance. Tonight it was going to be Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And Nathaniel Mitchell Blake, well, what can you say, Robbie? Just missed a medal in the 200 metres. Anywhere else in the world could he have done that? You never know. But in London, there was no chance he was being caught. Home crowds can sometimes help do something very special. Agony for Bolt, literally and metaphorically a problem with his left foot. He's not out in the stadium at the moment. He's gone off to get treatment. But let's celebrate this fantastic performance from all four of the British team.
Great Britain are the world champions. In lane eight, the silver medalists at the last world championships. An amazing USA. collection of individuals. Coleman, Can the United Gatlin, States Rogers, unite and rise Royals. from silver two years ago to gold this time? So. A long wait and watch for Coleman. He's eating up the ground on Sue, who's a brilliant starter. Jamili's holding his ground on his inside, but that was a sparkling leg. Rob Coleman, who roars his man on, down the back straight. The Americans got this under control. Let's watch the changeovers. That's pretty good. Into Mike Rogers. Great Britain still in the mix with Richard Kilty. China still in this on the outside. The United States get a fairly crisp exchange. Brilliant running by the Japanese coming through. The United States, America take it. It's silver this time for Great Britain. And a brilliant bronze for Japan. They came through so well on that anchor leg. Noah Lyles brings it home. It was Christian Coleman and Noah Lyles, and they may have a little beef off the track from time to time, but when it comes down to it, it's all about the red, white, and blue. Christian Coleman blasted out of there, and that was maybe the best exchange that I've seen any one of our leadoff runners give to Justin Gatlin on the out, on the back straight. Justin Gatlin's always been an anchor number two, and it was Mike Rogers with the headband. And once you get it into Noel Lyles' hand on the anchor leg, nobody is going to catch him. And people look at him as a 200-meter runner, but, you know, he ran one of the fastest 100s of the season as well. So, but a great job by Great Britain. You knew they were going to be there because they're so tight. Their cohesion is so good. But I also knew that Japan was going to be a factor. They ran really well in the rounds. They've been running well for the last couple of years. There you see the young one, Noah Lyles. And you know he didn't want to come out of here with just one gold medal. He got himself a second one. It's just great to see those guys. And the energy down here was just palpable, guys.